Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild in the Te Awaroa National Park. And we've got quite a few clips today from a recent live stream that we did. We got a lot of new things for the lodge that we didn't have previously, along with an albino sea deer, which is something I know a lot of you have probably been interested in seeing. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Now, I was doing a giveaway on that live stream, so you will hear me talking about, uh, about a giveaway during some of those clips, but just know that one is already done, so... Uh, those codes can't be won. They've already been given away. Uh, just figured I'd toss that in there since, well, it's going to be mentioned a few times during the clips. Just wanted to make sure you guys know that that giveaway is already finished. It was during that live stream. But, however, I do have one more giveaway that we are going to do in this video. And what I want you guys to do is give me a video idea in the comments below. And I'm going to pick out a winner for a DLC code and a winner for a base game code. So... If you guys have been looking to get Call of the Wild, then say that you are entering your comment or whatever, your video idea for a base game code. If you already have the base game and just want the DLC, make sure you specify that your uh, suggestion is for the DLC code. But I'm going to pick a couple winners and announce them in the next video, and I think you guys will... I think you guys will come up with some awesome ideas. I'm very interested to see what you guys suggest, so yeah. With that being said, we do have one clip to start this video out that is not going to be from the live stream, and that's because I had actually recorded an entire video and then found this guy at the end of it. And then I tabbed out to check my OBS and realized that I hadn't been recording for the first, like, 20-30 minutes of the video because my OBS had froze completely. So that was pretty unfortunate, but we are going to at least show off what we ended up finding and we're gonna go ahead and get into that right away. So yeah, it's a little unfortunate. We're not gonna get to see the first portion of this stock, but we do have this guy within 100 meters now, and basically I've decided to take it with the bow. I want to get this guy down, but, uh, but I'm honestly just super, super happy that we managed to find a level five within the first few days, because on the early access build of this game, uh, that I was able to showcase to you guys during the past week. It took me, I think, five or six days to get a level 5 to spawn in, and then when it finally did spawn in, it was a troll, so... Let's hope we don't repeat the, uh, troll part, and I'm honestly just glad that we got it to spawn in quicker than on the early access build, because that was really rough, the amount of grinding I did just to get a troll, so I'm really hoping that that is not gonna be the case here. The only thing I don't like is this wind is absolutely awful. We have terrible wind and honestly no cover besides these trees, but if I go to those trees then the wind is going to be blowing right at these guys and it's definitely not what we want. But another thing that I was mentioning uh, during the time that it wasn't recording was that this guy right here is actually one of the two fur variations that I really wanted. My number one most wanted fur variation is the red spotted. I really hope I'm able to get one eventually. But this guy right here, this is the close second fur variation that I wanted, which is the regular spotted. As you guys can see by that fur, or uh, not fur, that uh, disturbed vegetation right there. Oh my gosh, they are going alert so quickly. I don't like that. That is going to make this a lot harder. Because they are going alert almost instantly. Which is no good for us. We're about in a spot where we could take a bow shot. In fact, right here is probably going to be good. Yeah, 40 meters. Oh, he's alerted. Uh, we are going to have to be really, really quick with this. That's not what I intended to happen. Kind of curious what went on there. Interesting. Well, I guess we're going to have to move into the trees and hopefully wait for him to come back and just kind of hope that he goes in the path that's right in front of us. Otherwise, we could have some issues. There he is, right there. So I think that if we get, like, right in one of these trees, we should be good. The wind will be nice. Should have a decent angle on him. And yeah, we're fully hidden right here. So I think this is where we're going to wait. And yeah, he's coming right back where we need him. That's exactly the path that I was hoping he would take. So 
this could work out in our favor, hopefully. Alright, so this will be a good test to see how close that they can actually get without spooking off. And it's looking like they'll be able to get all the way up to 8. Uh, for those of you that don't know, 8 meters is the closest that they can get without spooking off. And yeah, it looks like these guys will be able to get all the way up to us. So we need to be ready. This guy is probably going to start off very quick. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. He can just turn right here. This will be perfect. I don't know what's going on, but this is interesting to say the least. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How did that work out? How did that work out that well for us? Oh my gosh. Whew, that gets the heart going. <laughs> That's for sure. My gosh, that was a strange, strange encounter. <laughs> I don't really know what was going on there towards the end, but we got him down, and that's really all that matters. The amount of work I just had to do just to get this thing, between the recording failing and all that stuff, I'm just happy we got him down. That is all I care about right now, is we finally got this guy down, and that is a beautiful Sika deer. Well, Let's go ahead and claim this guy. This is an absolute giant from the looks of it. Oh my gosh. It's 0.3 below diamond. That is so unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Oh man. Well, just like on the pre-release build, our first one trolled us. <laughs> That is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to tax it anyway, though, just because I don't know when the next time will be that I get a level 5 spotted. So, even though this was barely below diamond, hopefully the next one will be diamond. But until then, this guy will be a good placeholder. We got a warning call from a male, but I don't see it yet. Oh, that's a good four. Oh my gosh, that actually... Could this be a diamond four, guys? Oh my gosh, actually, that's a guaranteed diamond. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. We're doing another giveaway right now. I can't believe we just found that. Alright, so because we're on multiplayer, I'm just going to claim this as quick as I can. Alright, so Redux was the last vote. 199.10. Let's go, guys. Diamond Sika. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's insane. Jeez. This is a thick boy too. So, well, for those of you that were wondering, level 4 diamonds are a thing. Level 4 diamonds are a thing. That's insane. I can't believe we got one. We finally got a diamond Sika. Best one we've seen is a 2. There's a couple level 2 males. Oh, there's a 3. Oh, there's a Melanistic. There we go. Melanistic Shammy. These guys aren't super, super uncommon as of now, but that's still pretty cool. Did that not hit vitals? What? Hold up. How was that not vitals? I actually am really curious. That wasn't either. Or was it? Might have been single lung. It's hard to say. Either way, that's really strange. Alright, here we go. Here is the little Mella chamois. Nice. Grab this little guy. Ooh, yep, it lifted its head up. That explains it. That explains it. Oh, there we go, boys. There we go. There we go. Level 5. And that looks like it's probably going to be a troll, though. That estimate's not looking good at all. The very bad estimate. Oh. 
We got it down though. Nice. Pretty sure that's gonna be a troll. It looks like it's gonna be a troll, guys. <sighs> it's a little sad. It is what it is though. Still cool to see a five goat. Yeah, diamond is 208.7. I mean, if it hits the very top end of that estimate, it could be. Because we have had, I believe that Seekadir diamond that we got was the very max that its estimate could be, so... It is possible still, but it's so unlikely. Just because of how often these goats troll. Let's see. Is it a diamond? Maybe. It's a diamond! Oh my gosh! It actually is cl Wow! 208.70. It literally is minimum rating. 208.74. It was point... 0, 04 above. I can't believe it. I'm very shocked that it made diamond. That was so, so close. It's literally, literally 0 0.04 over. 0 0.04. <laughs> Jeez. That's crazy. Well, Kill Clinton's gonna be jealous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so just just remember we had our crosshair center of the shoulder. It somehow hit clear over here. I'm really lucky to even have this thing, to be honest. Because we for sure had a good aiming point down. And I think the inaccuracies of the Mosin just took into effect right there. Oh my gosh. You're right, Smash, it could have moved. It definitely could have. But, wow, we're lucky. That's our first Diamond Feral Goat into the Lodge, though. And it's one of the nicer fur variations, the white-brown. Oh, it's a big four. That's a big four. Uh, what do you guys think? Is that a diamond? I didn't get a good look at the rack yet. I think it is. I'm being honest, I think it is. I think that is, guys. Maybe. I think this time this actually is the big rack. It's a gold 192. That was close. That was so close. So this is the same rack. I think this one's just tighter. It looks like it's a tighter rack. But yeah, inner spread, I think, was the, the big factor there. Because you guys can see, this rack's a little bit tighter than the others. A little bit tighter, I think. Uh, maybe not as much time length on the top, either. Hey, Chase. Yeah, 2020 has just been a strange year in general, for sure. Thought you were taking a break from the game, man. Ooh, that's a mixed. That's a big mixed goat. Yeah, let's go ahead and smoke that. Beautiful. A good sized one. Perfect, it looks like. Missed its buddy, though. Yeah, the first one on that second guy was not a good shot. But there we go, there's our mixed goat. Such a cool one. 17460. Not bad. Tax that. The good thing about these goats is stuff like these mixed ones, we can use these as placeholders until we get like diamonds and stuff. Because the mixed ones aren't insanely rare. I'd say they're probably in between an uncommon and a rare. But they look really good, so I can see myself having a lot in there. That right there is an albino Seekadir. Holy. Oh my gosh. We finally did it. We finally found one. Multiplayer paying off. That is an albino Seekadir right there. Let's go ahead and get a shot into this thing. I can't believe we finally came across one. Four hours into the stream. And we finally have an albino Seekadir. Oh my gosh. These things are extremely rare too. This is only the third one I've heard of being killed yet. That's crazy. We actually found one. Multiplayer has been delivering like crazy today. What an awesome trophy. 
So we got the diamond one, we got the one that was really close to diamond, and now we've got an albino on the ground. This just honestly can't get any better today. This is the other thing I was really grinding for today, so the fact that we got this and the diamond in one stream, that's incredible. They look so good too. They did a fantastic job with them. I love that they're not completely white, they've got a little bit of other colors in them. That's so cool. Alright, let's go ahead and claim this guy. Albino Seekadir. It's level 2, but that's still super cool. That is awesome. That is super, super awesome. My gosh. 83-60 on the score. What a beauty. What a beauty. They look so adorable. <laughs> they honestly look so cute. I gotta get a bigger one now. We've got ourselves a small one at least. Jeez. Well, this has officially been the best multiplayer grinding stream we've done in a long, long time. All right, everybody. So here is a bunch of the animals that we got during this video. This right here was that spotted seeker that we got at the beginning. I'm still really, really sad that this thing didn't make diamond because this is one of the two fur variations I really want to get a diamond of. And unfortunately, this guy just didn't make it, which is definitely sad. But this guy right here was the one that almost made diamond. It was super, super close. Uh, and I do finally see what the difference is. There's no double tines at the top, so that definitely lowers the score of it. But the width of the antlers actually looks very similar to between these two right here. And this guy right here, he also only has the three tines at the top, but he's much wider, and I think that's why he ended up making diamond. But honestly, can't complain. First diamond seeker deer happens to be a level four. I honestly never expected that to be a thing, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And here is the Feral Goat 208.7. Still very surprised that it made diamond with that estimate. We got really lucky and it happened to be towards the higher end of that. This is the Melanistic Chamois, which obviously isn't anything too crazy since the Melanistic Chamois are semi-common right now, which is a little unfortunate. I was hoping that they would actually be rare, but they do seem to be just uncommons. Uh, right here is the Mixed Feral Goat. Not a super, super high scoring one, but definitely cool to find. I'd like to eventually get a diamond mixed one. I think that would be really, really cool. So that's another goal to try and get at some point. And last but not least, the Albino Seekadir. Probably one of the coolest trophies I have in my lodge as of now. Such a huge fan of the way these look. And I think, honestly, this might be the coolest looking albino in the game. They did a really, really good job from the little hints of brown throughout its fur and the little hints of pink. I think it looks super, super cool. And I cannot wait to try and get a bigger one of these. But honestly, I'm still just surprised we even found one. It took almost four hours of grinding multiplayer to get it, but it was worth it in the end. And I'm really happy that we finally got one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of fun to do that live stream. I really enjoyed it. So. So once again, be sure to comment a video idea down below and you will have a chance of me putting it in a video and a chance of winning this giveaway for the DLC code and for the base game code. Remember, once again, it is a PC giveaway, so if you're on console, these codes will not work. But yeah, go ahead and leave a suggestion for a video down in the comments and I will select two lucky winners. Be sure to make sure you put which code you are trying to win and yeah, I'll pick one of each. But anyway, Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you're new to the channel consider subscribing, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button because it is a massive help, but I will see you all in the next video. Peace!